In a shocking and devastating incident that has sent shockwaves throughout the online community, a 17-year-old Mexican YouTuber known as the Pirate of Culiacan was brutally murdered by a Mexican cartel. The pirate, whose real name was Juan Perez, had gained immense popularity on YouTube due to his videos showcasing his extravagant lifestyle and alleged ties to the cartel. This tragic event has reignited discussions about the consequences of online fame and the dangers associated with glorifying violence. Let's dive into the details. But before we continue, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more thrilling videos. Background The story of El Pirata de Culiacán, or Juan Luis Lagunas Rosales. His real name begins as he was abandoned by his parents. He did not know his dad growing up and his mom abandoned him when he was still a little boy. He ended up being raised by his grandmother who tried to provide him with basic things. But when he was 15, he dropped out of school and ran away from home to start another life in a town called Calucan. He adapted to this new town pretty well and was making a living out of washing people's cars until one day someone posted a video of him chugging a bottle of vodka. The video went viral and he became an internet sensation. His comedic personality was a big hit with customers, which evolved into his being the star guest of Parties of Narcos, who enjoyed watching the teen spout his outlandish spiel. He became an internet sensation. His videos of outrages, ventures of getting high, diving into a bag of cocaine, downing a bottle of red-label Johnny Walker, jumping the border fence for a little visit, running onto a soccer field, are very popular. He shared his social life, of parties, eccentricities, and friendship with various celebrities. He had become known in Mexico for posting videos on social networks of him drinking alcohol until he passed out and taking drugs, despite being a minor. The Rise of the Pirate of Culiacan The rise of the Pirate of Culiacan was marked by his provocative and captivating content on YouTube. His videos showcased an extravagant lifestyle that captured the attention of viewers worldwide. With a flamboyant demeanor and a penchant for displaying luxury cars, high-powered firearms, and encounters with individuals claiming to be members of the Mexican cartel, Perez quickly gained a devoted following. The Pirate of Culiacan's videos resonated particularly with younger audiences who were drawn to the allure of his seemingly larger-than-life existence. His provocative content generated millions of views and sparked intense discussions both within and outside the online community. While his rise to fame was met with controversy, the pirate's popularity continued to soar as he carved a niche for himself as a figure associated with danger, opulence, and the mystique of the cartel lifestyle. Despite the inherent risks and criticisms, his online persona attracted a dedicated fan base that eagerly awaited each new video, cementing his position as a significant presence in the world of social media. With these recordings, the 17-year-old had about 790,000 followers on Facebook, 37,000 on Twitter, and about 323,000 on Instagram. Because of his great popularity, several popular groups contacted him to appear in their music videos. Some of them are Codigo FN, Enigma Norteno, Larry Hernandez, Menores de Culiacan, Los Nuevos Rebeldes, Titanes de Durango, among others. In addition, the young person was very popular also thanks to his phrases Asi no mas cuedo and Puro Pirata de Culiacan, which has been shared and popularized by means of the social networks by users who became fans and who considered hilarious the capers of Juan Luis. The Brutal Murder On a fateful day, tragedy struck as Juan Perez attended a public event in Culiacan, Mexico. A group of armed men stormed the venue, opening fire on the attendees. The attack resulted in the untimely death of the pirate of Culiacan, along with several others present at the event. The motive behind the attack remains unclear, but speculations suggest it may be connected to his affiliation with the cartel or rival criminal organizations. However, Parada posted hours before his death from his personal Facebook page a video inside an apartment, confirming he was in Guadalajara. In the video, he is seen spending the night with friends, among his friends who was with him, with whom he was seen repeatedly, is the singer Beto Sierra, who shared on his Facebook account with a video confirming the murder of El Pirata. The shooting occurred on Monday nearing midnight. He was with friends in a bar when a group of armed men entered the bar and approached the young man, 
and shot him several times. It occurred in Los Cantaros Bar Restaurant on Avenida Real Colima at the junction with San Pablo on the border of Tlajomulco and Tlaquepac. El Pirata de Culiacán was surrounded by at least 15 long weapons. The body could be seen with impacts on the head, arms, and chest. Another man who was with him, reportedly the bar owner, was also hit. The injured man was taken to the hospital by paramedics, where he later died. Pirata was wearing a white shirt with pirate images and has pirate tats. Controversy and Criticism The pirate of Culiacan faced intense criticism for his videos that seemingly glorified violence and promoted a dangerous lifestyle. Many viewers expressed concerns about the potential influence his content could have on impressionable audiences. Despite the controversies surrounding his videos, the pirate continued to amass a significant following on social media platforms. Social Media's Dark Side The tragic murder of Juan Perez has sparked a global conversation about the darker aspects of social media and the potential consequences of glorifying criminal activities. Advocates for increased regulation and accountability argue that content creators who promote dangerous lifestyles should be held responsible for their influence on vulnerable individuals. This incident serves as a sobering reminder that real-world consequences can arise from online fame and the perilous paths that some influencers choose to tread. Calls for Reflection and Awareness as news of the pirate of Kuliakin's murder spreads, it is crucial to remember that he was just a teenager who ultimately paid a heavy price for his choices. This incident should prompt reflection on the impact of the content we consume and share online. It serves as a tragic reminder of the dangers that can lurk in the shadows, even within the realm of social media. Conclusion it's important to remember that violence and crime affect countless lives around the world, and we should continue to advocate for justice and safety for all individuals. We encourage you to engage in discussions about these issues and to support initiatives that work towards creating safer communities. If you found this video informative or thought-provoking, please consider subscribing to our channel and turning on the notification bell to stay updated with our future content. We appreciate your support and welcome your feedback in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.